after a bit of a vacation, we're back to more episodes of Let's Play Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, so stick around, got a lot to do. Anyway, let's pick up here at the subterranean hell where we left off. Now, we couldn't get past that grate in the last episode because you have to hit the button from the other side. So, we're going to have to explore up here first. Now, over here we have a little teeter-totter action going on. And if you hit it with your sword, it doesn't really move that boulder much. It doesn't budge. But, if we equip the mace, which is a heavy club, it knocks it up to hit the first gong and we get a potion as our reward. Now, if you have other mace family weapons that you can equip that are heavier, you can hit it higher to hit these upper gongs and get other rewards. Sadly, I don't have any of those weapons yet, so I'll have to come back here in a future episode and show what those drop. So keep an eye out for that episode. But anyway, let's move on. Watch out for these unes as you drop down here. Uh, it's easy to get caught by those. And over here we have a new enemy, the Alur Une. And she hit me with a rose. <laughs> anyway, she's got a regular item drop and a semi-rare soul to collect, so I'll be back as soon as I've collected both of those. Okay, I've got Allure Une's soul so far, which summons Allure Une as a guardian. Of course, this being a blue soul. Let's see. There she is, level 9. And when you use it, it creates um, a vortex, basically, where these vines kill anything in sight. And I'm going to get her item drop now. Okay, I've got the Allure Une's item drop, which is grapes. We'll take a look at those. Bursting with flavorful juice. They must be Welch's. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying about the Allura Une soul, um, when you use it, the tentacles are heat seeking and they do a massive amount of damage really quickly, so they're pretty good on stationary uh, monsters and particularly bosses that are penned into a small area. But the downside is you can't move when you're using that soul, so you have to stop using it in order to move to avoid attack. So. It's got its pros and cons, but it comes in handy in future battles, which I'll probably show off here in an episode or two, hopefully. And up here we have a new enemy, the Ukobak, just a semi-rare soul, so I'll be back. Alright, I'm Ukobak. <laughs> that was so lame. Anyway, its soul sets fires, and this is basically just a clone of the Aria of Sorrow soul, Ukobak which does the same thing. Any monster that wanders into it is burned. Let's move on, shall we? And another new enemy. This is the Bone Arc. And it's got just a very rare soul, so I'll get that. All right, I've got the Bone Arc soul, which summons a skeleton to provide transportation. Basically, this, let's see, is a level one soul, and... Oh, it makes a litter. And it also makes us invincible, so we can kind of walk right through enemies. That's kind of nice. Anyway, moving on. We have a save room. I'll use it to refill all my stuff, because I was almost out of MP. And up here is a UMA News Volume 1, Issue 3. Let's see. There it is. According to witnesses, the beast appeared to be searching for food. And this, of course, is the Abominable Snowman, which we already got, the Yeti Soul, way back when. Basically, it's just a hint to use the Waiter Skeleton's Curry Sling uh, ability to entice the Yeti into appearing. So now you have the whole story. And continuing on up here... More enemies, all of the same types we've already encountered. Now, if you have flames in the air like that, you can extinguish them just by hitting them with your sword. Or with any soul ability. Or running into them. <laughs> and look at this, we're back up here, yet again, in the Garden of Madness. Definitely a central area in the game. 
Now, it's odd that we haven't hit this boss battle. We can't open those boss doors because it was the level 5 seal, I think. So, we've got a small sword there. You've already seen that in a previous episode. Yeah, we don't have the level 5 seal yet. We have the level 4. So, hopefully we'll be getting the 5 soon. But, in the meantime, let's see... Oh, this connects up to that golden vault door where we got the 3-7's armor. So now that's complete. And over here... Ooh, a milk. How nice. Thank you. Oh, this is where we got the Mandragora soul originally. Anyway, we've explored the Gardens of Madness thoroughly enough. I'll meet you back in subterranean hell now. Okay, we're in subterranean hell again. And this is where we headed up earlier, so let's go down now. And 2,000 bucks. Yay! I wish I could just find 2,000 bucks sitting on the ground and pick it up. Screw the police, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay. And over here we have the warp room for this area. Not that there's much of a reason to come back aside from that seesaw. Oh, yay! Hey, look at that. A mushroom. A deliciously appetizing mushroom. Doesn't that look just like the ones from Super Mario Brothers? I swear it must be a nod to them. It's got that kind of orangey-yellow color and then the red spots. That's exactly like the mushrooms from Mario originally. I think it's a subtle homage. Ah, you missed me, sucker. <laughs> and another Quebec. And let's head down first. Ooh. Ooh, a save room. I'll refill. And I'm gonna head up. I like the background in this area. It's very cavern-like. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. I just like the color palette. Ooh, that was a close call with that Medusa head. Not today, sucker. <laughs> okay, let's see. If you equip flying armor and peeping eye souls together here, you can get a very top secret piece of armor over here. There it is. You have to be very quick about hitting that. And that is the ever seeing armor. And if we equip that and take a look at its stats, it's an armor tempered by a waterfall over many millenniums. And look at that massive defense boost. Almost 20 points, so we're definitely going to use that. The best armor will probably come across for a long time. Now if you screwed up and fell all the way down the waterfall, notice that little secret passage over there? We'll come back to that later. Anyway. Um, if you screwed up and fell down the waterfall without getting that secret passage earlier, you can get back up there and collect mushrooms along the way. You can get back up there by heading over here. That led back to that save room area. And you can just climb back to the top and try again. So, you definitely aren't screwed if you didn't get it the first time. Oh, I got stoned. Oh me down here. Stupid Medusa heads. There's so much more trouble in this game than they were in Aria of Sorrow. I swear. These guys are merciless. Or gals, I guess. It's, they're Gorgons, and Gorgons are female. There we go. Ooh, let's head up here. Ah, it was a trap. I knew it. Oh, and a new area. Hmm, I think we'll stop here for now. So we'll pick up next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.